Hello everyone, this is Jaden Dunn from Kiss My Glass Antiques and today we are at the St. Charles Antique Mall in St. Charles, Missouri by St. Louis and we're looking for a vintage or an antique glassware to resell or for my collection. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay guys, so right as soon as we walked in the door, there was this blue Ellie Smith Moon and Stars compote. It was marked at $45, which I would say is a little bit above retail, but maybe not. Uh, it's, it says it's in perfect condition. I couldn't take the lid off to see about chipping, but it looks pretty good without taking the lid off, so it's probably okay. Then over here, they had two green Impoli decanters. This one says it's diamond optic decanter with stopper. It's a squat. It's um, at 115 firm. It looked to be in pretty good condition. There was like a little bit of a watermark on the inside, I think, but nothing you can really see without picking it up. The stopper looked to be in good condition, and she had the stopper taped on, so that's a pretty good sign. And then this one over here is still in poly decanter, but it's a Wave Genie bottle. And I actually have one just like this in amber, but I don't have the stopper. It was marked at 130 firm, which is about retail. Like I said, this pattern is called Wave. It was beautiful. I really like the Wave pattern bottles. I would say they're my favorite genie bottle style. And like I said, I have an amber one with no stopper. So if you guys have a stopper, uh, comment below and maybe I'll buy it from you <laughs> for the amber one. Up next, there is a swung base right here. And we have not seen this style on the youtube channel yet and actually i hadn't seen this style in person before either but this is a viking georgian style swung vase georgian is a style it does look a lot like a thumbprint like a fenton thumbprint but this is a viking georgian style i actually just got some glasses that would match it except the glasses are blue got them from an estate sale but this is in ruby or just red if you will and like I said, it is Viking. It said rare on the tag. And to be honest, I've never seen one in person. So um, these are just some Lucite grapes. Now, I don't know a lot about the Lucite grapes, except for they're very collectible. These are priced at 55 And I believe that the ones with the like wooden log through them, as you can see, are going for about that. Here we have a Viking Georgian glass. I think I get it in the shot, too. There was a set of three, I believe. And this matches the swung base that were in the front. Yes, a set of three for $18, which I feel like is very good. I think that's a great price. Um, the ones, the glasses I got didn't have the stem, so they were stemless. So they did not look like these, but the bottom of them does. So these do match the swung base we just looked at. So that's cool. They're the same color and everything. Plus, that was a great price, I think. Okay, now right here we have some Pyrex in Gooseberry Pyrex, which is the color. And I just wanted to show you guys these. I hadn't said this before, hadn't really seen them before. But if you find the Gooseberry colored, the pink in Pyrex, you got it for a cheap price. You guys should probably pick it up because it is very collectible and has a great resale price. It's a Mark II 75 there, so that's about the going rate. Here we saw this slag glass decanter and glasses for $140. Um, now, I've never seen this before, and if I had to say, it's either Impoli or Murano, which is which are both Italian-made glasses, but I do not know that for sure, and it did not say on the tag. So, if you have any information, you guys should drop it in the comments so we know, but if I had to guess, I would say it's likely Impoli. Because of the stopper style and the spout style on this decanter, it reminds me of Impoli, so I would say it's probably Impoli. Here we have a Fenton Valencia lighter in green. I believe maybe on the last video um, we showed a Valencia, Fenton Valencia smelling vase. So this is just like that, except it's a lighter on top instead of a vase. In the back here, there was this beautiful, beautiful Fostoria Epern in a mint opalescent color. It was very pretty and I've never seen one like it, so I got it on camera from you. And right here is, I believe, Fenton. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Fenton stacking ashtrays with the lighter. Luke thought they were cool, so we got them on camera for you guys. Then over here we have a ceramic Holt Howard lighter. When we looked it up on eBay, it said Holt Howard anyway, so yeah, I believe that's probably what it is. 
Now right here we have a Amberina Compo and this is a Smith six pedal and like you can see from the bottom turnover right here and it has the scalloped edges so that is indicative of Ellie Smith. So this is an Ellie Smith Compo and it is an Ellie Smith six pedal Compo. I know it's hard to tell sometimes but you guys will get it. And like I said this is the Amberina so it likely would have cadmium in it which means it would glow under the black light. Which is really cool if you haven't seen it. I need to show you guys sometime. I always forget my flashlight in the car, though. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, and right here we have a Blinko um, salt and vinegar, or sorry, oil and vinegar and salt and pepper set. I have never seen a Blinko one of these before. And it wasn't priced very high. It was priced at $24. But, like, I'm going to show you in just a second the one of the bottles here first of all it didn't have a stopper and it was chipped on the lip as you can see right here but honestly at $24 and having never seen one of these before that would probably have been a good pickup but I can't tell you for certain because again I've never seen them before me trying to get a hold of the price tag <laughs> was not going very well Blinko Cruet set as is so yeah I thought it was pretty cool, so I need to look into pricing on them more, but if you have any information that you'd like to share, let us know. And here is an Ellie Smith piece I don't believe we have seen before on the channel, and it was $15, and it's just like a little bowl. You can just set it out with some candy in it, with some fruit in it on the table, but it was really pretty in the blue, and like I said, we hadn't seen this piece on the channel before, so we took a good look at it. And then, of course, back here, there's some amber compotes. Seems like we see a uh, Moon and Stars amber compote on every single time we look at um, stuff at antique malls. But they were priced at about retail. I think it was like $35 and $40 or $30 and $40. Um, so that's about retail for it. Then down here, um, my mom has a set of plates that have horses on them like this. But So I thought it was cool. And... I told Lou she wasn't there to stop me from buying it, but we didn't end up buying it because it was a set of 14 spice jars and a bowl. I don't know about you, but I didn't really want 14 of those spice jars, so we just left them behind after taking a quick look at them. It was $45 for the set of 14, which didn't seem too bad, but uh, I didn't need that, <laughs> so we just left them behind. Here we have Ellie Smith Moon and Star Salt and Pepper Shakers for $12. Now, this is a great price. We see these all the time on the channel, but $12 was way under retail. And although I already have a set of these, we went ahead and picked them up anyway because we used the set we have already. So, And then over here, I just thought this little glass was cute, so I went ahead and took a look at it. I don't know anything about it, and the tag didn't really tell us either. I know brass is coming back into style, so I looked at those brass peacocks. And then up here, there was some Ellie Smith Moon and Stars tumblers. And I believe it said $18 a glass, maybe? So we just went ahead and left them there. Over here, there's a really cool crystal glass epern. I don't believe it was Fenton, though I don't believe it had a maker on it. Um, the tag says Victorian Horn Epern, I believe. Yes. Priced at $200. Now, this was here the last time we were, which is about three or four months ago. So, I'm not, I'm kind of surprised to still see it there, especially on sale for $200. Um, since it's so old, I just can't believe it was still there, really. Now, this is a piece right here that I'm also, I'm actually not surprised to see. Um, at $300, it's this Fenton three-piece fairy light in opalescent, mint opalescent. Um, I don't really know the going rate on these, but I would say $300 is a bit pricey, especially for being in an antique mall where you're not shipping it. So always take that into consideration. Now right here in the corner is another piece that's still here, though I am quite surprised to see it with how collectible swung bases are recently. But this is a Ellie Smith nubby butt. And in ruby, almost amberina actually, a light red, and it's $480. Up here on top, I believe what I'm trying to look at here is the um, Viking Drape Bowl. 
I think this is called a handkerchief bowl whenever it's ruffled at the top like that. Up here there is a Blanco set which was also here the last time we were here and I absolutely loved it. And then lastly, this is an Ellie Smith pineapple butt basket. Basket, that's the word. <laughs> basket. We haven't seen one of these on the channel before, but they are really pretty and actually don't sell for that much considering how pretty they are. And I did leave this one behind. I just don't have room for it and I, I don't really want it anyway, but it is really pretty and I know a few people do collect these. So there's one here for $22 if you're interested. Okay guys, so all we left with was the Moon and Star salt and pepper shakers, but yeah, I think it was a good antique mall. I actually recorded it once before a few months ago, but the footage was not very good, so I didn't put it out, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!